Ever since you were 12, you've been dreaming of a career in fashion. And now finally, the moment has arrived. You've applied for and got an interview call from your dream fashion institute. Two things stand between you and a place in your dream fashion institute. Number one, your portfolio. Number two, your interview. So you start thinking, how do I create a killer fashion portfolio? You've heard words like sustainable fashion, eco, organic, ethical, floating around. You decide to jump onto the bandwagon and you create a portfolio on sustainable fashion. If you've decided to make a portfolio on sustainable fashion, do not fluff around. Do your research on sustainable fashion. Dive deep into the whys and hows of sustainable fashion. First and foremost, what is sustainable fashion? Why do we need sustainable fashion? How do we create sustainable fashion? How do we marry fashionability with sustainability? Provide a smart solution to an environmental problem. Be specific. Provide a focused solution to an environmental problem. Do not be vague. Do not be airy-fairy. Do not say, oh, I'll fix the environmental issue. How? Measurable. Offer something that can be quantified, that's tangible, achievable. A product or service that's suited to commercial production and commercial consumption. Crunch your numbers. Be ready with budgets, with price points. Relevant. Any research you do should be relevant to your core objective. And what is your core objective? Sustainable fashion. Time bound. How long will you take to finish the project? What stage are you at? Are you brainstorming? Are you working on the prototype? And how much time will you take before you go and establish the prototype? Do not be scared. At this stage, no one expects you to have all the answers. But as examiners, we expect to see some analysis and lateral thinking. A few things to remember. Present your work professionally in a folder. You do not have to include a lot. 10 to 12 examples of good work will be enough. Not everything has to be fashion. You can show off a diverse skill set. But remember, all your skill sets must align with your original, your core objective. What is that? That's sustainable fashion. For God's sake, do not include everything that you've done since kindergarten. When I was a six-year-old, I made this dress for Barbie. Then I went on to make a bandana for my dog. That is a surefire way of putting your examiner to sleep. The folder itself must not be bruised, torn or falling apart. Begin with your most current work and the strongest and work backwards. Your first work should be such that your examiner sits up and takes note of you. Finish off with another strong work, the finale. It's like a dessert after a good meal. Leaves a sweet aftertaste in your mouth. If you are using charcoal for some of your drawings, make sure you fix the drawings with odorless hairspray. If I am looking at your drawings, I do not want to be covered with black powder or charcoal. God help me 
if I am wearing a white ensemble. A portfolio need not always be two-dimensional. It can be three-dimensional. You can present a garment on a body hanger or on a mannequin. In that case, the garment must be properly finished with no rips, stains, smudges, no loose threads, nicely ironed. You can present a work in progress, but you should be able to articulate clearly as to why the garment is incomplete. Do you have a piece de resistance? Present it on a live model. It is unlikely at this stage you will be able to hire a professional model. You will have to work with an obliging sister, cousin, friend. Just make sure your sister, cousin, friend has the confidence to face the interview board and does not freeze in front of the examiners. You can even do a digital presentation. Digital presentations are modern, digital presentations are sleek, digital presentations also come with the possibility of a technical glitch. I'll advise you carry your own laptop. You are familiar with your own laptop and that will minimize the chances of a technical glitch. What's you an absolute no-no? Do not plagiarize. You are having a brain freeze, a brain fog. You are not thinking straight. Nothing is coming to you. But you've seen this perfect piece of work. The only problem is it's on someone else's portfolio, on the net. And you think, sneaky, sneaky, if I just bump it off this once and put it in my portfolio, no one will notice, no one will know. But hey, if you've seen something on the net, we've seen it before you. And we also have software which helps us judge if a piece of work is original or not. So, do not plagiarize. One strike on account of plagiarism and you'd be out. Out of the race, forever, never to be considered. In my next video, I'll tell you how to ace a sustainable fashion student portfolio interview. Have questions? Put your questions in comments. Smash the like button. Share this video with your friends and fellow students. Till next time, this is Samita signing off. Good luck with your portfolio presentation.